Hi, my name's Rob. I'm from APSGardenMachinery.com. I'd just like to explain to you about the Steel SH86 vacuum and blower. Um, it, it has got a lot of suction. I'll, I'll tell you that. It's, uh, it can pick up small pebbles, um, even those, um, even conkers, anything like that. It's got very good suction, but it's not meant for that. It's for leaves and for very small twigs, debris. It's got a three prong uh, blade in the impeller, which when it sucks from, from here, it sucks up there, the impeller's here, and it'll shred it to so much, and then it'll throw it into the bag, which has an elbow here, and then it gets sucked into the bag. I'm just gonna show you how to start it and how to dismantle the suction and convert it into the flower. So these are the tubes for the blower, and uh, theoretically, what happens is you lose. Take it, take this, take the chute off here, take the elbow off, uh, close the cage, and then you put, you adapt the uh, single arm here. And these two are really for choice of uh, blind suction. If you want it really false, uh, a good uh, force coming through, it's like when you squeeze your hose pipe on your and the garden hose to get the water to jet out more. That's the same principle that is, that just has a rounder hole. So really this one's more popular. I generally use that as a flower pot or something to a decoration. <laughs> right, so with regards to, um, I will start show you how to start this, but I'll just go on how to dismantle it. So as you can see, it's already set up for suction. So it's really simple, I'm just going to put this all down here for a sec. It's really simple and easy. Um, on the collar here, it should be, it just get so secure I can find it. Yeah. So this one on, the, on this collar, there is a small sprung part of the body here, a bit of plastic. You push it, get yourself a screwdriver, push this down here, and it allows then the collar to go around. There you go. So it's like that. You have to excuse me, I'm, I'm, new, I'm not left-handed. So, so as, as I pull this off here, this will come apart. And if you can just see there, there's the three metal blades I was explaining to you about that shreds the uh, debris. And then you close this cage. Like that. Like that, and then that's it. This cage here is security, so nothing else can go in here with your fingers or anything. Protect the blades and yourself. And it's the same principle here. You have a collar on the elbow, and you can see the white plastic that's part of the body there. You just push this down, and it allows the collar to go around loose, and then you pull away the elbow. So, whoops, as you can see, that is attached to the bag. Um, and so, with, with attaching to the bag, it's a simple strap round there and it comes off if you ever want to replace the bag or, or sorry, if you want to empty the bag, it simply just unzip here and all, all your leaves and bits and pieces will come out there, grass, whatever you're sucking up. There is a shoulder strap here that goes over your shoulder. So that's, that's nice and easy. So already it's looking like a blower, straight away. There's nothing really else you need to do. You just need to get the collar the straight shaft here, which is an adapter, which goes onto here. It has some markings here. So it's like putting a square peg in a square hole. It's got a wide mark in there and a very narrow one. So it simply will only fit in one way. I'll put it in like that. And that's it. So now that's locked and secure. There is a padlock showing locked and a padlock unlocked. So it really helps you uh, to keep it in place. That's it, I've locked it, it's a little clip here. So generally, nine out of 10, everybody uses the flat nozzle, purely because you get more air coming out, forced out that way. With the round nozzle, like I say, you can use it for flower decorations. Again, it's a bit of a twist and turn, and that's it, it's all locked in. Right, so whilst I've got it set up as a blower, I'm just gonna go through with you on how to start the what we call the SH86, so you've got the suction and the blower. You've got three settings here. You've got one, 
two, oh, one, two and three. So the third one is full choke, half choke and normal run. So the principle of this is, and you've got the primer bulb there, so the principle of having a full choke is on cold, frosty mornings that you get in May and April and all the other years, apart from June and July and August, hope, and September. Um, but it is a good, it is, sometimes it's always good to start on a full choke in the mornings just to get the blower started and it's simple and easy. The, the, the full choke is only a kickstart. It's only that you would really want to hear, all you will hear is a cough or it's caught and it's starting to pitter out and it stops. Don't try and start it on full choke because you'll just flood the carburetor and then you have to wait for it to dry. Once you hear that cough or it pitters and it stops, you then flick it onto a half choke, press the primer a few more times and simply pull the recoil. It will start straight away, it will catch, it will start running for about 10-15 seconds, leave it like it is and then press the trigger because the blower's warmed up and if you can hear it or see it there when I press this trigger there you go it's on a normal run so it automatically takes it away from the choke mechanism so you don't flood the carburetor at all now you've got it right up and running and here you are it's all up and running it's got an anti um, sorry it's got an anti vibration handle on here mechanism so it's nice and comfortable and just here you've got your on and off switch by your left by your thumb, you can turn it off, or if you flick it up, I call it the cruise control. If you're doing it for more than five minutes and you keep on squeezing the finger, you'll, you'll, you'll get a numb finger. But if you just flick it up, that would be running, standing like that on its own. So that's the starting point here. The recoil, it's fantastic. It's got an ergo start system, a recoil, recoil, so what it is, it's got an extra spring in there. So when you start pulling, which only you need to pull at a third of your normal pulling pace or strength, purely because the, the recoil, the extra spring in there, helps you to start the engine. So when you start pulling, you start compressing that spring tight. And what happens is, because the energy is building up in that spring, it releases at one point, and then all that energy then gets into the crankshaft and, and starts it. So really, this is so nice and elegant. You don't need to be yanking it hard like you do with some other unbrand, other unbrand um, blowers or vacuums. So here we go. And I'm doing this with my left hand and I'm doing this at the top here. So not a good position. Generally, you need to be down on the floor and you can, and you can put your right hand down here and then you pull it from here. It just makes it comfortable uh, to do it. But this is brand new, so accept, please, uh, might take a few times. So I'll prime it up a few times. Let's get the petrol in there. Yep, lovely. Which the petrol is now being moved from here into the carburetor. I'll put that on full choke, and I'll give that a few pulls. Oh, I think I'd better <laughs> go on the floor, because it's not gonna work. Put that like that, press it. There you go. That's my. That's the ignition that I'm, I'm waiting to hear. It was, wasn't a cough. It was just catched quite well. So then I put it on half choke. Give it a few pulls. Put it down there. And remember, I'm doing this left-handed and I'm right-handed. So I'm just trying to show you that I'm not really doing any much pulling. beauty of the steel products it's reliable it will start at virtually at minus degrees to hot temperatures up to 40 degrees it has very well designed engine to cope with all temperatures it's simple and easy um, it's shall I say bomb proof yes I will um, it's easy to operate it's very very well thought um, and designed Please email me at any time uh, on YouTube or my email address is robert at apsgardenmachinery.com. Um, if you do like this YouTube and you do subscribe with me and you do purchase one of these from my website, 
please see me and let me know because I'll throw in some HP super oil and a cap with it. Um, this is good quality oil this is um, and I have got other videos just telling the difference between that and the red. Um, thanks again, stay safe, um, speak to you soon, thank you.